minimum wage is seven dollars and twenty-five cents per hour. Many folks are pushing for it to get up to ten dollars and ten cents per hour. Your publication took a deep dive look at minimum wage across the country. What were some of the things you examined? Well, the first thing that's interesting is is that there are four states that have a minimum wage below the federal level, and another five that have no minimum wage at all. Now they get trumped by the federal minimum wage because that's the way that the law works. So if they have to adhere to the federal minimum wage, why have a wage that's lower than what's on the books? Probably political governors and state legislatures want to say it's not our fault, it's Washington's fault that you local businesses have to pay this exorbitant amount of money. So what are those states that have the numbers below that line? There are four states that are below that. Arkansas, Georgia, Minnesota, and Wyoming, and the five that have none are Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Why well, have none for the same reason as having it below the line that the federal government has? Probably so. These states also have something in common. They're very, very low wage, high poverty states. So it, it may be that in those states the legislatures don't want to get into the issue at all. So going forward, if that raise goes up to $10.10 per hour, how are these states going to react, do you think? Well, it's going to be very, very negative because in some cases they have a $5 minimum wage, so they're going to be looking at a number that's double that. Businesses across the state have to adhere to the federal rule. Are there some loopholes for those businesses once in a while to get around that? There are occasionally ones that have to do with small businesses and also people who work for tips. But in general, if you look at this across mo most workers, it's the federal number that counts. Doug McIntyre, 24-7 Wall Street. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.